Hello Virgo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So I have a few cards on the table. Let's see what we have. We have Toxicity, Negative Energy, Manipulation, Narcissist. Commitment, offer of loyalty, agreement. Twin flame, divine connection. And we have attraction, wanting more insatiable thoughts. Let's see what we have with a Crystal Angel card. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides for Virgo. We're looking at the 11th to the 17th of December, 2023. So I think it's Sugalite is the gem. Own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. All right, Virgo, let's see what we have with the cards. Message for Virgo, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Virgos for the week. What does Virgo need to hear for the week to come? We have the Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Cups can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card. Queen of Pentacles can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is likely you, male or female. Four of Wands. Oh, nice. We have the Ace of Pentacles. King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female. I mean, there's a relationship here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. Lovely. So, I mean, this can be a relationship first and foremost here, Virgo. And again, the two queens, queen of hearts, queen of emotion. Again, that will be a connected relationship with the king of cups. Again, male or female on either, card, on either card. But with the queen of pentacles, this feels like you. These queen energies feel like you. Now, that can be a focus in terms of money areas, For some of you, it could be a focus in relationship areas. Because when we, if we take money first, because clearly, you know, the Ace of Pentacles can be linked with the practical world, money, career, finances. Seven of Cups can be exploring your options. It can actually be there are hopes, dreams and wishes waiting to be manifested. So you might be exploring your options here. Uh, with the Four of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles can be a card here where, and again, it, it can affect the home, the family, the relationship with the Five of Pentacles, um, with the Four of Wands. Uh, but the Five of Pentacles can be when, you know, we feel lack on some level. That can be uh, changes in employment. Um, 
It can also be, you know, uh, financial investments going bad or poorly. It can represent changes, you know, uh, not being happy where you are. Again, with this narcissistic energy, uh, toxicity, negative energy, um, this can be a very powerful energy in terms of not feeling good enough, valued, appreciated, paid enough, paid for what you're worth, you know. So then there will be some kind of, uh, and that might well be affecting your home, your family, your relationship here on that basis. It looks in this scenario here, there is the new opening up for you. Again, the Queen of Pentacles can be a very abundant energy. So the Ace of Pentacles can be very positive in terms of the new, in terms of money, career, financial areas. New abundance is on the cards here. And that might well bring that sense of emotional balance and that sense of... Um, Yeah, just harmony and balance back into the relationship. Because it might well be that there was some kind of lack or financial lack. It can also be changes in your contract or leaving contract or your working hours, however that manifests for you with the Five of Pentacles. But this is definitely the energy here of... It looks like there's an opportunity here to get back on track. And it looks by pursuing hopes, dreams and wishes. Page of Page of Cups can actually be quite an uplifting message. It can sometimes be quite a nice surprise. It can be quite an uplifting message indeed in terms of emotions. So it looks in that respect here, Virgo, it might well be an opportunity to get back on track in terms of finances, career. Certainly for one of you here, it looks the focus with the money area is on the Queen energy. Um with your card being linked to that. So it might well be in that scenario here that there is an opportunity here to, to find that sense of new abundance, financial recovery, come back to your yourself, you know, coming back to you, so to speak. Because the Queen of Pentacles is very abundant and successful energy. Uh, so you're very resourceful as well. So it would have been very resourceful throughout this process here. Now, in terms of... So it looks like just the right answers coming in. You know, the Ace of Pentacles can be just the right path that you may have been hoping for or waiting for with some kind of like news or message coming in that, you know, you have an opportunity to open a new door elsewhere. Sorry, Virgo, the, the phone went. Um, getting back to the reading. So the other message that I was getting, the Seven of Cups can be where you are exploring your options romantically. Seven of Cups can be there's a choice to make or a decision. It might well be that you need longer than a week to make it, if that's the case, because this can be about confusion, not being quite clear in terms of how you want to move forward here. And sometimes with the Queen of Pentacles, she takes her time. Queen of Pentacles energy will just be somebody who it's all in their own time. So it might well be for some of you that someone is wanting to start over in the home, the family, the relationship. Because the Five of Pentacles can be when someone might be shut out, rejected, or someone does something that makes you feel lack. You know, uh, I'm, I'm not uh getting what I need in this relationship for whatever reason or I don't like the way you make me feel or your actions have made me feel there's not enough in this relationship to keep me in it um this can be that kind of scenario where someone's actions can make you feel that way with the four of wands it's about the home the family the relationship now for some of you this could also be choices and decisions if there is some kind of invitation to attend uh, a wider family gathering of some kind or to make amends with family there could also be some kind of celebration or party linked with that it looks like there is some kind of uh, invitation message coming in uh, and it's to either for someone to kind of like start over in the home the family the relationship and heal that is these energies can we heal can we start anew start on a new solid footing that's what somebody is asking for. Now, this is either you as a, a relationship unit needing to make a decision to do with wider family, whether you want to do that or not. 
and really exploring your options. You know, certainly if there's been some kind of fallout with wider family, there could be an invitation here coming in either to make amends with wider family or there could even be some kind of celebratory event to go to and you need to make a decision whether you want to go or not. And it's about being open to it all in your own time, considering your options in terms of making some kind of decision. So that would be the energy here. Similarly, it can be about the relationship itself. Queen of Pentacles can be very powerful in terms of healing. Uh, and again, with the heart energies being shown in the reading as well, this is likely somebody who's either wanting to return home or starting over in the home, the family, the relationship. And that's what the message is all about. It's either some kind of, and this could even take place at some kind of event or family event of some kind too, uh, where someone is wanting to start over with you in some way. But that's the energy that I'm seeing here, Virgo. It feels like there is some kind of important invitation, uh, whether it's career, whether it's to do with relationships. Uh, it's all about bringing healing, recovery in those areas. And that's what I'm seeing here quite strongly. There is a new path open to you. with the promise of something solid, stable and secure. This is just that first step. So that's what I'm seeing here. So let's see what we have for Virgo. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Virgo. as an affirmation for the week. Thank you. When I don't know what is happening, I choose to be curious and excited about what is going to be. And we have, it is easy for me to attract all that I need into my life I do this by relaxing and trusting that things are going to work out perfectly. And the energy that I think the angel message is reminding you is it's not about pleasing others this week. It's really about exploring your options in terms of what's going to make you happy, what's going to bring you fulfillment. You know, whether it's money, career, finances, or whether it's relationships. It looks like there is some kind of invitation extended here. And it's about making some kind of, and it looks like a very positive invitation message coming in. But again, it's about, you know, doing what's right for you at the end of the day. Is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. So let's see what we have as a final message. Final message for Virgo. Thank you. Music. Listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories and charm the fairies to your door. We can sometimes find dancers in music as well. That's what I have for you for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.